Hey guys, it's Andy Fogarty here from theathomewelder.com and this is Alice, the Wonder Dog. And today we're gonna go over a downhill weld. We're gonna go over what that means and when you're gonna need to use it. So the first thing you need to be aware of is how you're holding the gun. You want everything to be facing up. That's gonna actually allow you to control everything as it's flowing down. So you're going to be controlling the puddle, the weld puddle that's going to form in here and be forcing it up and gradually allow it to come down. If you have it facing down, again you're going to be pushing everything out and it's, you're going to have no control and it's going to be a big gloppy mess. Now what we're going to do here, and I've got this coming out a little bit using this as my pointer, what we're actually going to do is make a little TP or a triangle. Uh, some people call it like an upside down V. And this is actually, we're just going to go from side to side. We're going to go from side, up, down to the side, up to the side, up to the side, up to the side, up to the side. So you've, we're just f making a little point here at the top. And we're coming to the point in the center. And you're going to take a real brief pause on each side. So you're going to pause, go up down pause 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 and you're going to gradually move your way down this is great when you have gaps like this you see i don't have i'm repairing this dumpster and i can't get everything flush to each other it's just the thing is old and bent and it's just not happening so when you have a little bit of a gap here this is a great technique to use to fill that gap you get great penetration on both sides and you have There you have it. You can see in the puddle how we went from side, up, side, up, side, up, side, up. Just making a little, little V's, little triangle, pyramid things, and actually pushing that puddle, keeping it from just gooping down. All right, so that's it. That's the downhill MIG welding technique. It's great for filling any kind of gaps you have, as long as they're not too big. But if you have a good gap that you need to fill, this is a perfect technique. It's nice and clean. You'll get great penetration. To know that your welds will not only look good, but they're going to hold as well, which is more important. Now, hey, listen, if you want to get more great information like this for free, come on over to theathomewelder.com. Go ahead and sign up for MIG Welding 101, and I'm going to send you the five cornerstone MIG techniques that we use for everything. It's the foundational stuff that you need to know. And it'll also sign you up to get our weekly newsletter, which we send out great plans and ideas, cool projects for you to do, and great money-saving tips and time-saving tips for all your MIG welding purposes. So I'm Andy Fogarty for the At Home Welder and KingMetals.com, and I will see you again next time.